So first, uh, uh, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity uh, for this prestigious club. You know, I'm excited to be here. Uh, from the very first conversation with Coach Messina, you know, I felt like uh, this was the place that I needed to be. You know, I had a, a long career. This will be my 10th season overall, uh, eighth in Europe. So uh, my goal is to win a EuroLeague. I think I've done everything else uh, individually. I've won championships in different countries, but the only reason I'm in Europe right now is to win EuroLeague. Uh, after Atlanta, I said I didn't want to come back to Europe, but you know, last year I thought it was a good opportunity for me to come back and kind of remind people that I'm still a high level player in Europe. Uh, I think I proved that and you know, I got the attention uh, of coach and Christos. Uh, so like I said, from the first conversation I had with these guys, they felt like um, they wanted me to be here and that's for my career, that's all I really need is for a coach in the club to give me the opportunity to lead the team. And then, you know, I put the weight on my shoulders and try to uh, do whatever I can to help win. So for me, that's my job here. I just, I'm coming to win. Uh, I think for me, you know, like I said, from the first conversation with coach, he wants me to be myself. You know, I think uh, last year in Barcelona was a different situation. I came to the team a little bit late, so I just wanted to fit in. You know, I think, I had to take over some games, but there was, this wasn't my role on the team. You know, I, I still wanted to be myself, but I didn't want to overstep my boundaries on what coach asked me. But uh, I can't have fun if I'm not myself. You know, I'm going to be in attack mode, uh, and that doesn't involve just me scoring. That means, you know, getting everybody else around me better. Uh, like that season in Locomotive, I scored, but everybody around me play better than they've ever played before. So, you know, I take a lot of pride in making people around me better. And everybody who I've ever played with loves playing with me. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be in attack mode, like I said, and that's just to make myself, you know, have fun playing the game and, you know, to demand some, uh, some stuff from my teammates as well. If they see me playing hard, I think, you know, my teammates are going to play hard as well. So uh, that's just the type of leader I am. So before Barcelona, when I left China, uh, my only goal was the NBA. Uh, like I said, I didn't, uh, you know, Coach Messina called. I didn't want to uh, come back to Europe. Uh, a couple teams called me. I just wasn't interested. The NBA was still on my mind. I felt like I could play there. I had the experience. Um, I think China got my confidence back to where I needed to be basketball. Uh, so, yeah, the, the 40 games was very important to me. You know, I waited around. That's why I ended up coming to Europe late last year. Uh, I went and played with the Knicks, and then I went to Golden State for a mini camp. But, you know, the NBA moves at its own pace, and I wanted to play basketball. So, you know, the Barcelona thing was just timing. And like I said, uh, I just wanted to go to a place where I could play, have fun, and, you know, try to win a EuroLeague. So, uh, right now, I don't care about the NBA. You know, I'm here. This is my home for two years, and, you know, I want to win here. So that's my only uh, goal here, and that's the only thing I'm thinking about right now. Maybe the second conversation I had with Coach, <clears throat> he said he talked to Chacho, and he wanted me to come here. So, you know, like I said, Coach uh, did a good job with communication. And for me, I don't care. I can play point guard or shooting guard. So I think the most attractive thing about me is I can play with anybody. I've never had an issue playing with point guards or shooting guards. If I had to play only point guard, I accept the role. If people want me to score, I can do that too. So, you know, playing with Chacho, I think it's going to be fun. You know, he's one of the most exciting players uh, that I got to play against in, in a couple years in Europe. Um, like I said, he's a winner. And I think, you know, together we both can score, play off the ball. Um, he's a great passer. He can score when he needs to. Uh, and we both can make everybody around us better. So I think with us playing together, uh, we have unlimited possibilities uh, with the ball. As far as social media, 90% uh, of what I say on social media is sarcasm. So the fans, uh, and you'll see, I only interact with Milano fans now. Like if, you know, I, if they ask me a question, I answer. If anybody tells you they send me direct message for kids, for anybody, I talk to them. As far as... Uh, any other fans who try to troll is sarcasm. I really don't care. Um, but one thing I don't do is make the club look bad, make myself look bad. I don't um, disrespect people. 
but I don't tolerate disrespect either. You know, for me, if somebody disrespects me, I'll just block them. It won't be, you know, to go back and forth with a fan. But I just like to have fun. You know, fans love me everywhere I play because I talk to people. I'm one of the only players who will respond to fans, whether it's just funny or if we would lose or if we win. I'm the same person. Um, you won't just see me on social media if we win. And if we lose, I say, okay, I'll leave social media for two weeks. You know, this is, I'm in Europe by myself. You know, I don't have my family here. I don't have kids. I'm single. So uh, talking to my friends and talking to the fans is really, you know, a stress reliever for me. Uh, as far as EuroLeague, um, we got close in locomotive and we just ran into a better prepared team in Seska. I think um, we, we had a good run with a team that wasn't predicted to do anything. Um, I think last year in Barcelona, we had a team that I thought we could win the EuroLeague. Um, so I think I do have some sort of experience on what it takes to win. Uh, but coming here, we have guys on the team that, that knows what it takes to win EuroLeague. So, you know, even I have to take a step back and, you know, look at how they approach everything because uh, they, they've already done it. Everybody knows about Kyle Hines. You know, it's, you don't hear any, anything negative about him. Um, he's one of the guys who speaks up for the players, but on the court, he's a winner. I think some guys like that, you don't need to hear. You, you kind of know. When I played against him a lot. Uh, in the VTB League, I played against him before in EuroLeague with uh, with Munich. So um, he's one of those guys that's rare. Uh, as far as the Americans, he's not selfish at all. He's only a team player. He does what he has to do to win. So I think that kind of stuff rubs off on people. And for me, you know, I, I'm excited when coach told me that it was a possibility uh, to get Kyle here. I, that definitely was one of the reasons why, you know, I decided to come here. I thought that would be good for me in my career too, to play alongside Kyle. Uh, Mike is one of my close friends. Shane, I just, uh, you know, we kind of got to know each other this summer. Um, I don't know Scotty uh, personally, but he's one of the best guards I played against. But I think when I have freedom and, you know, I have the ball in my hands, I, I think I'm the best guard in Europe.